Kyiv will not participate in peace talks until Russia withdraws its troops from the entire territory of Ukraine. Foreign Minister Dmytro Kuleba said this during talks in Baghdad with his Iraqi colleague Fuad Hussein. This is reported by the American news agency Associated Press. During the meeting, Iraq offered to become a mediator in negotiations between Ukraine and Russia, referring to the fact that the country has experience in reconciling warring parties, in particular Baghdad organized negotiations to restore relations between Saudi Arabia and Iran. It is hard for us to support war, and based on this principle we always strive to be a part of the solution. Wars end with negotiations and dialogue. That's why we believe in the language of dialogue. That's why when we negotiate or discuss with officials in Moscow, and Minister Lavrov was here in the same hall, we mentioned the same principles, and we told them that we support a ceasefire and the start of negotiations. This speaks as I said, for the quality of uh, the Iraqi diplomacy. And of course, this experience and this success testifies that Iraq knows how to build bridges. But we should ask ourselves a question. Why, did this br why was this bridge built now and not a year ago or two years ago or three years ago? And the answer is simple, because the moment has to come. So we definitely see Iraq as a country that is capable of building bridges. Uh, but as I said, Russia is on the offensive. Russia is seeking war. Dmytro Kuleba emphasized once again Ukraine insists on its plan and this is peace formula suggested by President Volodymyr Zelensky. We have our vision of how this peace can be achieved, which is the peace formula presented by President Zelensky. We welcome every effort <clears throat> to uh, restore peace in Ukraine. But there is one key cornerstone that must be uh, laid down at the very foundations of every effort. And that cornerstone is the restoration of Ukraine's territorial integrity. During the meeting, the diplomats also discussed the export of Ukrainian food. Iraq, like most of the Middle East, depends on Ukrainian grain. The ministers agreed to intensify a cooperation between Kyiv and Baghdad in the sphere of trade, education and digitalization. According to Iraqi mass media, Baghdad intends to import grain, butter, meat products, eggs and sweets from Ukraine. Ukraine and Iraq are united by a long history of friendship and mutual respect. At one time, Ukrainian servicemen helped to normalize the situation on Iraqi territory. Now the government of Iraq supports the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine against the background of a full-scale invasion of Russia. Dmytro Kuleba, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine, from a message on the website of the ministry. According to experts, the visit of the Minister of Foreign Affairs of Ukraine to Baghdad shows how much attention Kyiv pays to the development of relations with the Middle East, in particular because of the close relationship between Iraq and Iran, which supplied Russia with strike drones. In this regard, each of these countries, and Iraq is the country that is close to Iran, has quite close institutional ties with this country, and accordingly Iran seriously influences the formation of Iraq's domestic policy. Therefore, we need to start a dialogue with Baghdad. At the same time, Baghdad maintains close ties with Washington, including due to the fact that the country's currency reserves are stored in the U.S. Federal Reserve System. Iraq uses the dollar as a currency for international payments. After the full-scale invasion of Russia, Iraq took a neutral position. However, it maintains economic ties with both Kyiv and Moscow. Recently, there are more and more messages about the intentions of Ukraine and Iraq to strengthen cooperation between the countries. Reported by Sergei Kulas, Christina Dombrovska, UATV News.